There are few companies as important to the Australian economy as Rio Tinto, and few that ignite the passions of Australians like Qantas Airways. Today we're joined by Lee Clifford, who led Rio Tinto for seven years and has been the chairman of Qantas for just over five. Lee, thanks for joining us today. Pleasure. I'm really keen to ask you, what was your initial reaction when you saw last year the former CEO Jeff Dixon pop up on the share register with some former managers and their financial backers and um, begin this silent agitation behind the scenes? Well, I don't know if it was too silent behind the scenes, but, you know, I'd have to say I was pretty disappointed and I think a lot of people in Qantas were disappointed. I, uh, I don't think it's appropriate for past executives um, to be out speaking to shareholders, unions, etc. And behind the scenes, criticising very vocally uh, the strategy of the business for whatever reason. To be honest, I think sometimes past executives are going to move on. Have you seen anything like this in companies that you've worked in? No. Or well, been a director of? No. I, I was pretty disappointed, frankly. No, I haven't. Final question on that. Look, it was shortly after the share price was at a record low. Um, yes. Couldn't it have been the case that they had some ideas worth listening to? Well, I never heard them. They've got to put them to you to discuss yeah. them? Yeah. Everything was done behind shadows and what have you. I know there was claims that oh, we hadn't spoken out, but, you know, you're a journalist. Uh, all of you had your ears beaten with, uh, with their views on what was right and what was not. But, you know, as I said, I think people have got to move on What's your personal style at the board? We spoke before about the chairman-CEO relationship, but do you like people to bring the ideas to you, or are you someone who likes to say, this is my thoughts, give me your, give me your feedback? Um, I'd have to say I come to the airline industry with limited experience of the industry other than as a flyer of many years. So I do come into it with, with a sort of a degree of naivety about a lot of aspects. Now I think over five years I've been able to work out what are the key levers that that are driving this industry and I tend to be a bit of a devil's advocate with Alan and the team. They're very experienced airline people so I try and push and test etc. Um, but uh, I'd say that uh, that's, that's the appropriate role of a chairman. I'm not trying to second guess them. Um, I'd have to say I remember a I said, look, the fly-in, fly-out business in the mining industry is going to be here with us for a long time, so how do we participate in that? And, you know, the guys bought uh, Network Aviation a couple of years ago, and I certainly have sort of talked about how major projects and operations in remote part of Australia are going to be ongoing, important, even when prices come off the top, because at the moment we're seeing... Uh, iron ore and coal prices come off a bit, but we've got, I think, five major LNG plants under construction. Well, that's a lot of air tickets, fortunately. And look, a final question. You've had some very, very high-profile, very interesting roles in mm. your career. What's the secret of not, of A, being successful, but B, not letting it kind of destroy you? <laughs> well, firstly, having, having a family who'll tell you like it is, you know, pretty strong critics, and I've got a bunch of, I've got a broad group of friends, and they don't let you uh, get too far in front of reality, um, and I think that's pretty healthy, to it, be honest. Is it still fun? Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. You know, I've sat down with Alan quite often. We sit down and talk. We do it probably every every two weeks. We probably have dinner together and just talk about things. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. I don't, you know, I, I actually quite enjoy it. Good to hear. Lee, thanks very much for talking with us. Pleasure.